In this video, I'm going to show you two AI agents that you can sell to small local businesses. Now, these two AI agents will save the business owner a ton of time. It's going to make them a ton of money. So therefore, they're not going to have a problem paying us for these AI agents. Now with AI, I'm able to collect payments just like this every single day. And the best part about these payments are that these payments aren't just one and done. With this business model, you're able to build monthly recurring revenue. So that means at the end of each month, you're not starting from scratch. Your income is going to steadily grow. This isn't like drop shipping where you have to constantly be selling new products every single month. And it's not even like SMMA. With SMMA, you do get recurring revenue. But with SMMA, your clients are going to constantly be breathing down your neck. You're going to be constantly stressed, constantly having to do client work. And because with SMMA, since you're charging so much, it doesn't matter if you're getting your clients good results. It's only a matter of time before they cancel. Now with this AI business model, there's going to be little to no fulfillment on our end. All you have to do is set up these AI agents and these AI agents are going to take over and start generating revenue for your client. Now, why? Why is it important for a business owner to have AI agents operating in their business? Well, that's because speed to lead is everything. If you just take a look at this chart right here, if your clients aren't reaching out to their leads within five minutes, there's going to be a good chance that that lead is lost forever. And business owners are super busy. They're always working. They're always out on job sites and so on. So they're not always going to be able to communicate with all their leads. So for them to make sure that they reach out to every single lead, they're going to have to hire an entire person to do that for them. And that can be expensive. So that's where our AI agents come in. Our AI agents are pretty much going to act as entire employees. They're going to be able to do every single task a human can do. Our AI employees are going to communicate with every single lead that comes in through the business. It's going to nurture that lead. It can schedule them on your client's calendar. It can also literally pick up the phone and talk to your client's leads for them. So this right here is extremely powerful. So if we come over here, this is going to be our simple three-step process to do this. We're going to first set up each AI agent. After that, I'm going to show you how to do outreach, how to find businesses who would need this. I'm also going to show you what to say to these business owners to get them on your AI platform. And then after that, I'm going to show you how to collect payment so that your clients pay you every single month. So let's just get straight into it. I'm going to first show you the two AI packages that we're going to be selling. So right here, we have our basic plan and we have a premium plan. In the basic plan, this is where we're going to be offering conversation AI. And what this is, is pretty much an AI chatbot that'll communicate with every single lead coming through your client's business, whether it be SMS, email, Instagram, Facebook, Google My Business, or pretty much wherever. This AI bot is going to pick up that conversation. It's going to nurture the lead. And this bot right here can even book the lead on your client's calendar. That's how powerful this is. Now for your premium plan, you can include voice AI. And what this will do is pretty much AI will pick up the phone. It's going to call every single lead that comes in through the business. And on the phone, this bot's going to make sure to qualify the lead. It's going to ask any questions that the business owner wants to ask. And this AI voice is pretty much just going to sound and act as a real human talking on the phone. So again, this this is extremely powerful as well. And if you want to do it this way, you can where you have two plans, you can have a basic plan and just offer conversation AI. And then for your premium plan, you can offer conversation AI and voice AI. And for this, you can charge $297 a month and then $497 a month or pretty much whatever you want. I don't recommend going below $197 a month. So for your basic plan, you can do $197 a month. And then for this plan, you can do either $297 a month or $497 a month, pretty much whatever you want. So business owners won't have a problem paying this because like I said before, with these two AI agents, we're going to be making the business owner a ton of money and we're also going to save the business a ton of money because now instead of having to hire an entire employee for two thousand three thousand dollars a month they can just use our ai system for 497 dollars a month and they're going to be good to go now if you don't want to do it this way where you have two plans you can just have one plan to simplify everything and you can either just offer conversation ai or voice ai in your plan or you can just add them both into your plan and just offer one plan it's going to be totally up to you but now i'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up these ai systems so to sell these two ai employees we're going to be using a platform called go high level now the reason why we're using go high level is because go high level has a ton of marketing and sales features they also have a ton of ai features and the best part about go high level is that we can actually white label their platform so as you can see here this platform doesn't say go high level anywhere this is my logo and this is my domain and now we can come over here create our own pricing choose what type of features we want to include in these plans and just like that we can resell this to small local businesses as our own software platform now i'm not going to show you the whole setup process when it comes to white labeling go high level so if you want to learn more about that, you can check out my free course that I have down below. In this course, I walk you through everything, how to set this up, how to set up your email, how to set up payments, how to white label the platform and so on. So go ahead and check that out. But for right now, I'm going to show you how to set up these two AI employees. So if we just come over here to sub accounts in here, you'll see all the businesses that are on your software. So if you want to manage one of your clients, you could just enter one of these sub accounts. But for right now, I'm just going to go ahead, click right here where it says create sub account. And we're just going to start one from scratch. Now, right here, what we're going to want to do is connect the business owner to this sub account. 
So we can either do that by searching them up on Google My Business, or we can just add them manually right here. So we can add the business owner's first name, last name, email, their business name, their address, and so on. So for this example, let's say I'm doing this for a pest control company. I can just come over here and right here, I'm just going to add the pest control business's name. I can do something like ABC Pest Solutions. And I'm going to go ahead and quickly fill out this information and then click add a sub account. So here we go. We're now inside of the sub account of ABC Pest Solutions. Now, the first thing that we're going to do right here is set up conversation AI for the business owner. So this is going to be that chat bot. So to do this, we can just go over here, come over here to settings, and then we can come over here to where it says conversation AI. Now in here is where we can build that AI bot. So I can just come over here, click create bot. We can start from scratch. We can build a general Q and A bot or an appointment booking bot. So let's just do this one right here. Now let's click on continue. Now in here is where we can set up the bot. So we can name this bot whatever we want. So I can do something like Sarah. And then right here, you're going to make sure that you switch on autopilot. This will turn on the bot. And then if we come down here where it says supported channels, you can choose what type of channels you want your bot to communicate on. So right here we have Instagram, Facebook, SMS, website, chat widget, live chat, WhatsApp, and so on. So for example, if you want the bot to only respond to SMS, you can just leave it at SMS. But if you want this AI bot to respond to pretty much every single channel a business owner would use, you can just select all of these. Now, if we come down here, you can add your client's business name right here. And then right here, you can adjust the wait time. So if you want this to sound like a real person, obviously you're not going to want this to respond right away. So we can just do two minutes. And then right here, you can have a maximum number of messages that you want the bot to send out. So if you want a real person to take over after 10 messages, you can do so or something like that. And then if you want the bot to sleep every time you send a message manually or through a workflow, you can do that as well. So now that we have these settings taken care of, what you're going to want to do now is train this bot to make sure that it sounds good. So we can start by coming over here to bot goals. And right here is where you can customize your prompt. So pretty much a prompt is just the instructions that you're going to give the bot right here. You can give it a personality. You can write out the goals that you want it to achieve. If you have any qualification questions that you want the bot to ask, you can add those right here. Also, if you have additional info or you want it to follow any rules, this is where you'll do that. So you're probably not going to get this perfect right away. But what you want to do is just keep playing around with this prompt until you get it as good as possible. And then down here, we can set up our actions. So we're going to want this bot to book appointments on our calendar right here. We can choose our client's calendar, which is going to be this pest control calendar. If you want the bot to just send the calendar link instead of booking the lead automatically, you can select this. If you want it to pause after booking, you can do that. If you want to trigger a workflow, if you want to transfer the bot to an employee, you can do that as well. So I'm just going to click save. And now we're not done yet. We come over here to bot training. This is where we can train the bot and make it as good as possible. So right here where it says web crawler, what you're going to want to do right here is just add any URLs that your client has. So I'm just going to come over here and I'm just going to take one of these pest control websites right here. So let's say that this is our client right here. I'm going to go ahead, click on their website. And now all I have to do is copy this URL right here. Go back to our bot paste that right here and then get this data. So just like that, this AI bot is going to scrape that entire website. It's going to learn everything there is to know about that business. It's pretty much going to be an expert in the business. And now to make this bot even better, we can go ahead and ask frequently asked questions right here. So right here, you can just think of or ask your client, what are the main common questions that people have? So this can be something like what services do you offer? And then you can answer that right here. You can add another one. You can say something like how much do you charge? And then write the answer and so on and so forth. So this will just help the bot out even more. And then when you're done with this, when you're done training this bot, when you're done customizing your prompt, you can come over here to the right and you can start testing out this bot. So you can pretend that you're a lead interested in pest control services and you can start asking any questions and you can see how this bot works. So I'm just gonna come down here. I'm just gonna say, hey, so there you go. The bot just said, hey there, how can I help you? Now I can say something like, what type of services do you offer? Now let's see what the bot says. So right here it says we offer customizable pest control services for both residential and commercial. And then right here it's asking me if I have any specific problem. So I can come down here and say I have termites. Now let's see what this says. So there you go. It's saying that we handle termites. And now it's going to ask me if I want to book an inspection. I can say something like sure. Now it's going to ask me when I would like to book. I'm going to say does tomorrow at 2 p.m. work. So it looks like that time is taken. So it's going to give me some other slots. So I can just say 2.30 works. So just like that, this AI bot automatically booked me on that calendar. Now, if you don't like any of these responses right here, all you have to do is click the thumbs down and then you can customize the response and then click train bot. So that's another way that you can train the bot. You can come through here, edit the prompt, go over here to bot training, add Q and A's, add any URLs. And then right here, you're just going to want to continue having a conversation with the bot. And you're just going to want to try to find any mistakes. And once you do, you just want to correct those mistakes. So that right there is the first AI agent that we can sell to small businesses, which is conversation AI. 
AI. So now I'm gonna show you how to set up voice AI. And this right here will have AI called the business owner's leads. So to set this up, all you have to do is come over here to where it says voice AI agents. And then if we come over here to where it says create agent, again, we can give our agent a name. So I can do something like Sarah, here's our business name. Right here, we can choose our AI voice. So you can just come through here and see what type of voices that you like. Since our bot is a woman, I'm gonna go ahead and choose a woman voice. Let's try this one. Before you put on a frown, make absolutely sure there are no smiles available. I'm gonna do one that sounds older. Let's try this one. Luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. So that sounds good. Now we're here, we can choose the direction. So as of right now, we can only do this for inbound calls, but in the future, we're gonna be able to do this for outbound calls as well. And then right here, we can choose our agent's initial message. So it's gonna be something like, hey, you've reached ABC Pest Solutions. How can I help you today? Let's go over here to next. So right here are going to be the agent goals. So we can choose what type of information we want the bot to collect. So we can do name, email, and that should be good. If we want to trigger workflow, we can do that. If we want to receive an email notification post call, we can do that as well. And then we can go over here to next. Now, right here is where we can choose our number. So I'm just going to do this one. If you don't have a number, you can just come over here and buy one. It's just going to be a dollar. So now we can come over here and save this. So here we go. Here's our new bot called Sarah. If I click on this, we're going to want to train this bot as well. So if we come over here to agent goals, and if we click right here where it says switch to advanced mode, this is where we can customize the prompt for this AI voice agent as well. So again, just like before, these are just the instructions that you're going to give the bot and you can just come through here, customize this to your liking, make sure that anything that you want this bot to do, you add that in here. And then when you're done customizing this prompt right here, over here to the right is where we can actually test out this bot. So right here, I'm just gonna add my number and I'm just gonna click call me. And just like that, this AI bot should call my phone. So here you go, it's ringing my phone. I'm gonna put this on speaker. Hey, you have reached ABC Pest Solutions. How can I help you today? Hey, so I have a ant infestation in my house and I was just wondering if you guys can come down and spray. Oh no, ants can be quite a nuisance. We can definitely help with that. Would you like a one-time treatment or are you interested in ongoing pest control services? Just a one-time treatment, please. Perfect. Let's get that scheduled for you. We have availability this week on Wednesday or Friday. Which day works best for you? Wednesday should work. Great. Would morning or afternoon be better for you on Wednesday? Morning should be fine. Awesome. I've scheduled your appointment for Wednesday morning. You'll receive a confirmation soon. If you have any questions before then, feel free to reach out. All right, so I think you guys get the point. This bot right here just scheduled me for the morning, so it wasn't specific. I have no idea what time in the morning. So to fix that, we would just come over here to goals and we can just play around with this prompt. And you just wanna keep on doing that until you get this as good as possible. So that's pretty much going to be it for the setup. That's how you can set up conversation AI. And that's also how you can set up voice AI. So now I'm gonna show you how to actually find business owners to sell this to. So to find business owners to sell this to, you can just go to Google and search for your industry. So I just searched for pest control and right here, we're we're gonna see a ton of businesses with all of their information. So for example, let's say that we wanna reach out to this one right here. Right here, we have their phone number. If we scroll down over here, we have their Facebook page. We can go on their website. And on this website, they have a contact us form. We're gonna be able to find their email, their other social media pages, and so on and so forth. Now, if you don't wanna come through here and scrape all of these leads manually one by one, we can use a Chrome extension called Instant Data Scraper. And if I click on this Chrome extension, what this will do is automatically scrape all that information on that page. We have the business name, we have their phone number, and so on and so forth. So you can just download this as a CSV, come through the list, clean it up a little bit, delete all these sections that you don't need. And then once you do that, you can start reaching out to these businesses right here. Now when reaching out to the business owner, we can say something like this. We're going to first introduce ourselves. We're going to have a reason for calling. We're going to identify a problem. Then we're going to give them a solution. We're going to lay out the results and benefits. And then we're going to have a call to action. So those are the main areas that you need to focus on when building out your outreach script. So I'll go ahead and just link this down below. So if you want this exact script, go ahead and check the description. Now, if the business owner agrees to move forward, what you're gonna to wanna to do next is schedule a demo call with them. And on this demo call, this is where you're just gonna show them everything that you set up. You're going to demo the AI and show them how this works. Now, at the end of your demo call, we're gonna to wanna to collect payment. I'm gonna show you exactly how we're gonna do that. So to collect payment at the end of your demo call, what you're gonna to wanna to do is just send your client to a funnel like this. And on this funnel, this is where your client can go ahead and pay for your software. After they do that, they're gonna be taken to the second page. On this page, we'll have an onboarding form. And right here, they can fill out this form. That way you have all their information so you can set them up. Then after that, if you want to, you can book an additional call. This is going to be your success call. Right here, they can click on your calendar, book that call. And on the success call, you can answer any last questions that they have, make sure that they feel comfortable. You can show them the bot that you set up for their business specifically, and so on and so forth. And then right here, this is just the thank you page. And right here, they can watch a welcome video. And that's that. So of course, you don't have to use all four of these steps. The most important part with this funnel is to collect payment 
payment and then also to collect all their business information with this form just to make your life a lot easier when setting up their account and setting up their AI bot. Now, if you don't wanna use a funnel like this, you can actually just go ahead and send your client to a website. So right here, you can build a simple website just like this and this website will pretty much cover everything that you offer. It's gonna go into detail what you do and so on and so forth. And then if we come over here, we can click on pricing and right here you can break down your pricing. And instead of using that onboarding funnel, you can just send the business owner to this. They can click get started today. They can fill out this form, enter their credit card information, and just like that, you can collect payment. So that was just a quick rundown on how you can sell these two AI agents to small businesses. If you wanna learn more about how to set up your own AI software, again, check out my free course that I have down below. That course will show you how to set everything up. It's also going to show you more in depth on how to find clients. And then finally, if you do want done for you, go high level snapshots. Be sure to check out our snapshot vault down below as well. Inside of this vault, we have a ton of go high level snapshots for a ton of different types of niches. So for example, if you're working with a pest control business, you can just upload our pest control snapshot into their account. And just like that, your client's going to get a ton of assets, stuff like websites, funnels, automations, workflows, emails, nurture campaigns, and so on. So be sure to check out all of that down below. And thanks for watching.